Hello guys, welcome back to my China blog. So this blog will be introducing Suzhou to you. When you hear Suzhou, you may think, where exactly is it in China? It is actually a city that is very close to Shanghai, around 83 kilometers west of it, or a one and a half hour drive, and it is still within the Jiangsu province. So let's dive into my adventures there. So today I'm leaving Shanghai to Suzhou, and I'm at the train station right now. Trying to get my tickets. So we're now in Suzhou. We're now in Suzhou. We're now in Suzhou. We're now in Suzhou. We're 漂亮的餐厅跟小吃的地方，这里就感觉像一个古镇，好像在上海的朱家角差不多的感觉。但这里应该历史也比较悠久吧。Shantan Jie is a famous seven-mile street in Suzhou that has been in use for more than a thousand years, having been built in the Tang Dynasty to transport Suzhou's upper classes to Tiger Hill for leisurely outings. It has whitewashed buildings on both sides of the canal and quaint, lantern-decorated bridges. This is the Xianlang Pan Bao. Try it. Try it. Oh, it's like this. 当夜晚来临时，我前往一条历史的小巷，叫做平江街。我有一次很开心地逛了一下各种商店，卖饮料、鞋子、手表和珠宝。Suzhou Street is To mail some beautiful postcards to my friends. Then I looked up popular restaurants on Da Zhong Dian Ping and came to Tao Hua Yuan Ji for some authentic Suzhou dishes, such as Rou Song Jiang Gu Tou and Chi Dou Hu Xiao Yuan Zi. Then I headed over to Jinji Lake, a freshwater lake located in Suzhou Industrial Park, because I was told that there is a little bar district near this area that would be cool to check out. I should have come here in the daytime as well, though, because the city lake part also has sightseeing, entertainment, and shopping venues to enjoy. So after that, I arrived at the nearby Li Gongdi area, where a lot of bars are located. <laughs> So I've just ended my first evening in Suzhou. I went to a bar um, today. I'm really tired and I'm feeling a bit sad because I miss my friends in Shanghai. I don't really want to leave them. Um, and I'm back in my hostel. So in Suzhou, there are four most famous classical gardens that each represent the style of four dynasties of Song, Yuan, Ming, and Qing. And on day two, I took a motorbike ride and arrived at the largest garden of these four, the humble administrator's garden, or Zhuo Zhengyuan. This was built during the Ming Dynasty and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
endless waters, winding paths, old trees, and green bamboos bring you into a quiet and faraway world here. I was really lucky because I met a professional photographer here who helped me take lots of beautiful photos with my new T-Pow as well. And I was really happy to keep these photos as a record of my memories here. Then I made my way to Zhou Zhuang, one of the most famous water townships in China. So now I'm in Zhou Zhuang. This is like a really old town in Suzhou. I booked a Min Su, and now the staff has come here to pick me up. Ready there? What an adventure! Zhou Zhuang is located in Kunshan, around 30 kilometers southeast of the city center of Suzhou. Renowned as the Venice of China, it is famous for its well-preserved ancient residential houses and unique cultural landscape with a long history. Let's go and explore to see its charm. Wow, so I booked a room for tonight in this old town. Very big room indeed. Some small shops here and bars and food stalls as well. Zhou Zhuang is surrounded and divided by canals and rivers. Fourteen stone bridges cross the rivers. There is no motorized traffic here, so you either travel by foot, by rickshaw, or by gondola. The night view is just so charming. I walked around to explore a bit and just immerse myself in the history and culture here. And I checked out the bars as well.
Joel Jenny. Um, planning to head to Hangzhou tonight. It's a little adventure coming to this old oh, city. Yeah. It's very quiet, tranquil place. Please subscribe to support and feel free to comment below. See you next time!